Hi everyone! Today I'm going to share with you a recipe that I recently found on Instagram. It was posted by Everyday Stella and it's her recipe and it is for chocolate peanut butter banana bread. And I'll put the link to her website in the description box below so you can check it out. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to do is in a small bowl you're going to combine all the dry ingredients and the first thing going in is one cup of all-purpose flour. The next thing going in is half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Next we have one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. And so once you've got all these dry ingredients in the bowl, I'm gonna give it a good little stir. I'm gonna work with the wet ingredients. So in a large bowl, I'm gonna mash three over-ripened bananas. And the key here is if you wait until they're super ripe, the sweeter it'll be. Okay, next we have some light brown sugar, and this is gonna be unpacked. The recipe calls for one fourth cup plus an additional two tablespoons of the light brown sugar. So I'm just gonna add this on top of the bananas and then I'm gonna smash it all together. Just use a fork and get in there. Now I decided to bust out my hand mixer just to make sure it's nice and combined, but you just certainly don't have to do that. Before I got started, I went ahead and melted four tablespoons of light butter because you don't want to add it when it's hot. So give that a good little stir. And next we're going to add in a few more wet ingredients, a quarter cup of unsweetened almond milk. Get that in there and then just one egg. Give that a good little stir. And then we're gonna bring back the bowl with the dry ingredients in it. And we're gonna fold that in. Here we go. Now the recipe calls for you to fold it in and until it's just combined, but do not over mix. I've always kind of had a problem with this. I'm, I'm trying my best here. Okay, next we're gonna add in a quarter cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And I'm using these Nestle mini morsels. I like using the mini ones because it makes me feel like I'm getting more, more chocolate chips per bite. Okay, so next we're gonna work with some powdered peanut butter. I'm using this PB2 and the recipe calls for one third cup and you're just gonna prepare it according to the package instructions. And I'm not really precise with this, I just kinda eyeball it with, with the water until it looks like a good peanut butter consistency for me. So I just kinda start with a little bit and give it a stir and then, there we go, that looks good. Okay, now we're just gonna give a little spritz in the cupcake pan with some nonstick cooking spray. So I'm just gonna fill these up about halfway, maybe a little bit less than halfway. And then we're gonna add a little, just like a little dollop of the peanut butter mixture. This makes it so good for when later when you bite into it. That little bit of peanut butter in the middle, it's good stuff. Okay, so now we're just going to top off with the rest of our banana bread mixture. And last but not least, we're gonna add some peanut butter chips. And I'm just gonna use a quarter cup and try to space them out as evenly as I can. And we're, I'm gonna put it in the oven at 375 degrees for about 23 minutes. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.